Hi, this is Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. Now what we're going to talk about today is love covers a multitude of sin. Now the reason we are looking out of my kitchen window is because Pat Love looks like crap today. Because Pat Love is fighting the cold. So we won't go into that and... Uh, there's not enough love to cover this multitude of sins, so just enjoy the view. Because you sure would not if you had to look at me right now. Now, here's my little uh, thing for today. When you find yourself, you know, a lot of times it happens with married couples, with, met, with uh, parents and their children, brothers and sisters. It happens sometimes with friends or co-workers or even members of your church or your group, whatever the case is. You know a true sign that you are lower than half tank, full, maybe a, a quarter of a tank of love, is when other people tend to get on your nerves ever so quickly. You will notice that they not only annoy you, they bug you, they irk you, you seem to be getting angrier quicker than normal. You hear what I mean? Or you, I know you hear what I'm saying with my big mouth. But all I'm saying is just don't allow those things to irk you to the point where you have no clue how to deal. When you see that things irritate you, when you see your temper getting real short and your, your emotions flare up too quickly, you know when you're overreacting. Well, that's a true sign that your love is waning. And you need to ask God to fill you up with more of His love. Then, you will notice a new spring in your step. You will notice that you're feeling more patient, that you're feeling more affectionate towards people and their, their idiosync idiosyncrasies don't annoy you as much. You might find some things quite adoring, a little comical. You'll get your sense of humor back. But when the Bible says love covers a multitude of sin, that's what it's talking about. When your heart is filled with love, people can't bother you as much as they would when your heart is, is really uh, depleted of it. There's so much more patience, so much more mercy when your heart is filled with love. But boy, I'm telling you, when you have very little love, you have very little patience. You have very little tolerance. Uh, you would really rather not be bothered. So I just say, pray and ask God to keep your heart filled with His holy love. Not your human love, because human love is, is too limited. You need that agape love. That's unconditional love. That means you can love a person even when they don't deserve it or when they deserve it the least. You hear me? God bless you now. You be encouraged. Sorry I can't go into much more detail. I'm fighting this cold and my brain is a little foggy. <laughs> few cobwebs up there. You know how it is when you blow your nose a hundred times a day. But anyway, God bless you guys. Be encouraged and keep your hearts full of love. Peace be still. God bless you.